Hi guys. So the first thing I wanted to ask you is what is your favorite video of mine? I would love you to find it and please share. There's a share button right underneath the video. I would love for you to share it on your Facebook page uh, with coworker, or friends, family members, somebody that you think might like to be entertained. Even if they're not interested in painting, sometimes people will love to watch and it's a good way to um, get my art in front of more people. So if you haven't subscribed already, please hit subscribe, ring the bell and select all. Cause there's a thing going on with YouTube. If you don't select all, you don't get them. So. Now, you guys remember this painting? This is Oleander. It was a 20 by 20 on a gallery wrapped canvas. And if you go back just a few videos, you'll find it. I'll try to link it if I remember. But this painting I'm gonna do today is uh, Oleander's little sister on a 16 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. And I decided to put gloss medium down instead of a white or a black base coat or something like that. I wanted the canvas to have a little bit of um, wetness to it so it would slide very easily over the top, but I didn't want any colors to affect um, the pour. So that was my compromise, was to put some of that Winsor & Newton gloss medium, which that is my favorite. It's the gal uh, Galleria, or Galleria, I'm, I'm not sure about that still. Um, but that's the gloss medium that I really love by Winsor & Newton, and it works great. So the colors in this were um, all of those mauve tones. I used the world's blackest black, which was from Culture Hustle by Stuart Semple. And um, all of that information can also be found in the Oleander video. You should watch that one if you haven't seen it. And here I talk about the um, rule of odd numbers and how our eyes love odds. So in general, our brains will pick, um, will say something is pleasing in an odd number over an even number. So a three, a five, a seven, a nine. So that's why you see um, five puddles here, but I actually didn't want them to look exactly the same. I want little differences in the characteristics of each puddle. So I was sure to layer the paints just a little different. And you can see I injected some of that um, Golden's Deep Iridescent Gold in a squeeze bottle. And that is um, an Adeco Art Extreme Sheen paint. The, the gray, it's a metallic gray. So I really love... <laughs> I usually am not a gray person in a painting, but I thought it was one of the most interesting parts of this one. And then the world's blackest black in there. And then I just add, this is the 24 karat um, deco art gold. And I just kind of weave that around the puddles. Now, kind of my goal for this one is simplicity. I just wanted some simple, beautiful, lines. Um, I didn't want anything too complicated. I didn't want too many balloon rolls. I just wanted a few delicate, beautiful, uh, flower-like balloon rolls. And the other thing I'm going for here, and it's strange that I didn't um, speed this up as I'm looking at it, but I wanted you to see in real time how slow I tilt at times. And one of the reasons I do this is because I'm really trying to preserve um, some of the injected paint cells that are gonna pop up. And especially with metallics, it's like when you inject metallics for some reason, the beautiful and delicate lacing that occurs always seems to disappear as soon as you tilt the painting and I think that has to do with the weight of the metallic paint versus the weight of the other paints so I was trying desperately to see if I could maybe hold on to some of that um, 
beautiful cells and lacing that I was seeing start to pop through. Um, I just barely have enough paint on here. Luckily, the gloss medium is helping me to stretch, but overall, man, I did a good job in with those five puddles figuring out how much paint I actually needed for this canvas. I love those gallery wrapped canvases with the uh, two one and a half inch sides, I guess it is. They're just so substantial. They feel so good in the hand and the painting feels um, luxurious. It, it just adds a value to the painting. Um, the beautiful sides that you get as the paint falls over and um, I really love them. It's They're quite addicting. You know, it's a lot like Mina was saying in her video, the golden paints are actually a great value because of the pigment load. And this is something I've been saying for a while. Um, but also the gallery wrapped canvases, it's the same kind of feel. When you start selling your work, you really want, and you, uh, I'm not trying to sound like an art snob, because I'm not. Um, but if when you start selling your work, you want to offer something really beautiful and quality and lasting. And that's one of the reasons why I started using golden paints um, in a lot of my work, because they're just exquisite. The way they dry is exquisite. The, and, and it was just time for me to start um, graduating to using a lot of uh, gallery wrapped canvases and that's what I have done so as I sell continue to sell more of my work um, I think it just helps bring a quality to it so that's one of the reasons now I can't always afford it of course but um, you know this is why we keep selling so we can keep creating so we can keep you know going and I love selling artwork um, as a business it's it's been extremely rewarding in fact I want to show you a message that I just got today hold on so one of my clients that just got her painting says Heather it's so beautiful so gold so wonderful I can't see it very good because it's hard to see through tears oh, I was like oh my god thank you so much for painting it selling it and sending it to me I love you and my gosh it's compliments like that when you're sharing a piece of yourself with somebody and you get a compliment like that after they receive it and I get those compliments all the time and you know it doesn't build my ego what it actually does is feed my creative nature to continue to share my art with you in all different types of ways and that's including videos and my Instagram and Facebook posts but also selling my art so people can enjoy it in their home it's like a little piece of me is is with someone who loves it <laughs> and, and and that's love that's beautiful it's amazing so I'm really lucky and I'm trying to um, do my art full-time I would love to move into that it's I love being a chef it was a beautiful and amazing part of my life and yet I can really not wait to um, move forward and I would love to be able to take my art to the level where I could actually sustain myself that way so I hope that um, I haven't talked too much about your you know my ventures and your support in my venture but if you don't talk about the things that you care about and let people know where you're at then you, they won't know and so I'm definitely at a transition point right now in my life and um, and uh, yeah so you'll see be seeing more auctions and I'm gonna start doing a weekly auction on my Facebook page of one special piece and that's gonna start probably this next week and 
it'll be you'll have a little time to bid like three or four days so if you don't follow me on Facebook um, Heather Mater art is a good place to do it um, and anyway enough talk about that so uh, this painting as you can see it's very simple and beautiful and there's hardly any paint on there at all so when I'm doing my balloon rolls I'm having to add some in and I really when I say I wanted to keep it minimalistic I really wanted to do just just three <laughs> that's it just three beautiful balloon rolls perfect balloon rolls and so that that was my goal for this one and just kind of drawing the eye towards the center and following that beautiful curve that goes across the center of the painting um, I didn't get a lot of photos of this one but I did take my little camera down and I filmed a little close-up of it so you can hopefully see yep that's it there she is just simple there's a lot of very shimmering and beautiful paints and look at that world blackest black coming through it's so pretty and it dried so pretty that dark well first of all look at the pink on there I love that floating pink and then that dark deep rouge color right there see that line that dried blood blood red it's just stunning and then that beautiful balloon roll right there I love it very delicate there's a lot of plums raspberry colors in with the gold and look at that beautiful flower thank you so much guys for watching and I can't wait to make more art videos just for you don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you